Hey everybody, Sean Keenan here. We're going to go ahead and take a look here at our uh, Fish 3.0 rig update. So as you can see here, uh, I've changed the, the main GUI just a little bit. Uh, made the buttons a little smaller so that we can continue to add uh, modules without really too much problem. Uh, I was a little bit worried about running out of room and really covering up the, the GUI image here, which really isn't necessarily a problem. Um, I was just a little bit concerned about it, so I've gone ahead and made those buttons a little bit smaller here. So, before we go ahead and take a look at the uh, the big 3.0 update, which is the clownfish, we're going to go ahead here and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the update that I've done for the grouper model. So I'm going to go ahead here and bring this in. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the UI for the grouper module. Uh, what I've done instead of having just the ability here to go ahead and scale the eyes. I've gone ahead and brought in controllers so we can actually go ahead and move those eyes. So if I want to go ahead and bring those in, you're going to see that we get a controller that's actually on top of the eye here, on both of those. And we now have the ability to go ahead and move those down or up as needed. So you can see where you have a, a massive amount of control for the eye as well. But what will happen here is whenever you move the eye, you can also still scale those out. Okay, so let's just go ahead here and put that into place. And it's just a little bit of extra control that I've gone ahead and added on to um, the grouper mod there. So we'll go ahead and just jump back to our modules. I'm just going to go ahead and hide that, just make sure that it's reconnected. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our clownfish here. Okay, we're going to switch over here to our Clownfish UI. So you can see where all the controls here basically are the same throughout the system. Um, and it's really not too much different from any of the other modules. Um, the only difference being we have a little bit more textures here. So we have the orange texture, the white, the black and white Nemo, the saturated red. So you can simply just you know hit a button and basically run through those. You can see where the texture updates, and since it's all running off the same V-Ray subsurface scattering shader, skin shader, it's you know really not too much of a problem to go ahead and get done. Um, we do have the ability here not only to change the body color, but we can also go ahead and change the eye color here. As you can see, that it's going to update there. Okay. Uh, obviously, if you click on your rig updates button. Uh, throughout the UIs you can go ahead and run over to the site and, and get those updates as I uh, release them. You have the ability here to go ahead and quick swim so you set up your attributes pretty quickly to go ahead and swim. I uh, just have to run the swim attribute in the, the channel box there. You can always unswim it so it's going to set all that stuff back to zero. You can bring in your auto swim node so that you can go ahead and edit that. Uh, manual body colors, controls, we already have all that so um, Let's just take a look here. We obviously have our smooth controller, our global, so we can go ahead and move that as needed. And everything scales and rotates as well. Okay. We also have a facial system here for him. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off since we don't need it. Um, you can have a quick blank or a quick open. Let me go ahead and And it doesn't key it, so you're going to have to go ahead and key that off of the eyes. Uh, we do have the you know left and right blank, or both blank, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our manual swim controls here. We obviously have the ability to go ahead and show those. Um, and the selection here, as you can see. We have the ability here to go ahead and twist and roll our body as well. Uh, generally, the updates are easy here because they all pretty much have the same basic fundamental controls. So there really isn't too much um, that's going to be changed here. The only difference here is the, uh, the way that the face is actually set up. So we have our blanks that are based off of blend shapes. And then I'm using the face machine here to allow you guys to go ahead and say, you know, select the control, you can add a, a little bit more 
control in terms of those eyes. Um, but these controls aren't necessarily the blank, as you can see here, because the, the geometry is penetrating through. These are mainly just to get you a little bit extra emotion through those shapes. And the blend shapes here, let me go ahead and turn one on, are actually going to work uh, with these controls. So normally if you would you know, use a blend shape with a face machine, it wouldn't work. But now, since those blend shapes are on, our face machine still works. Okay. Go ahead and turn those blend shapes off here. Actually, everything works. As you can see here, I'll go ahead and... You can see our mouth moving there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn those off. I don't think there's... Uh, anything else that you guys actually need to see here um, I'm thinking here you obviously have the ability to go ahead and select those all, all that stuff through the UI as well okay so we'll just go back here to our modules tab go ahead and hide it and just reconnect it so um, if you just go ahead and click on your UI with your fish master or rig updates you can always go ahead and uh, get the updates actually through the website um, and that's just a general look uh, at our Fish Module 3 update. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, and definitely enjoy the rig. So see you later.